All right, in the video prior, you saw me uh, just getting four trees up to the trailer. I like to get them all nice and aligned uh, so I can just move the trailer back and forth and pick the logs I want, load them up. Um, I'm gonna be doing two different stacks. I'm gonna be doing a, uh, one in the back here and one in the front. I got some eight foot stuff in here and some 12 foot stuff. Uh, this is pretty small. This isn't as big as what I usually get, but uh, for the projects I'm working on right now, I don't really need big trees. Uh, you'll see I got the tower set up. Uh, you probably saw that in the, in the earlier part of the video. Uh, that back tower actually connects into the, the hitch receiver. Uh, so there's gonna be a lot of, pre a lot of tension in the cable. Um, that's what keeps it from coming forward. And then I transfer some of the, the weight into the frame of the trailer right there where you see the straps. Uh, that, that tower goes to the winch. And then from that tower, it goes to this tower uh, and then, then uh, over to the logs here, and it has to be around the logs a certain way because when the cable is pulled, you want the logs to roll up the ramp. So uh, you'll kind of see me how I snatch the logs, and that actually doubles your pulling power too just because of the way physics works. Um, it's almost like running another pulley. So uh, just something to keep in mind if you try to actually snatch directly to the log, uh, that cuts your pulling power in half and it actually puts a lot more tension on your, your towers. So uh, from here, I'm just gonna resume uh, with uh, me loading the logs on the trailer. So uh, that's it for logging with the big trailer. Uh, got about four cords on here, three to four cords, um, six hours worth of work. With two people, it's about a two hour job. I had some problems with the winch. I think I blew out a solenoid. But uh, anyway, that's uh, Beetle Kill Pine. Again, just uh, six hours and three or four cords. So uh, that includes dropping the trees, limbing them and cutting them to length. So quite a bit of work, uh, but this will last me a long time. So um, it's all worth it in the end. So if you're cutting firewood, that's probably um, half a winter's worth of firewood in six hours. So that's pretty dang good for just one person. But uh, that's it for this video. I'll uh, see you on the next one.